Okay, in this section I'm going to add the game's tools repository. Then I'll install some tools that will help you with your gaming experience on Linux, as well as tools that you may recognize as Linux counterparts to tools you may find on Windows, to my ongoing install of OpenSUSE. I'm going to go and add the game's tools repo to my configured repositories. I'll enter the repository name games tools. Now the URL http colon slash slash download dot dot org slash repositories slash games colon tools slash OpenSUSE underscore tumbleweed. And we're off to the races. Okay, so what will I start with? How about game mode? Game mode is a tool that will sort of pipe in some optimizations for games when you run it. Some games have integration for this tool built in. I'll add support for 32-bit games as well. Mango HUD is one of my favorite game tools. Mango HUD is pretty much the Linux version of Riva Statistics Server, which is the tool MSI Afterburner is most known for. It displays stats about your system while you play, frames per second, CPU and GPU usage, etc. If you're kinda a casual gamer, you might not care, but it's great for tinkerers who want to see how a given game is running on their hardware, or if their hardware is working correctly. I'll also add 32-bit support for older games, though it seems to not be working for all of them at the moment, unfortunately. Now, the problem with Mango HUD is that you have to configure it to run with each game via parameters, which are easy enough using Steam. But if you're like most and you ain't got time for that, there's Goverlay, which will sort of inject Mango Hut's configuration into all of your games. Goverlay also bundles Replay Sorcery and VK Basalt. Replay Sorcery brings AMD Relive functionality to Linux and presumably Nvidia cards as well which allows you to save the last 30 seconds of gameplay. VK Basalt is, and I'm getting this from the project's GitHub, a Vulkan post-processing layer to enhance the visual graphics of games. I haven't really used VK Basalt, but I install it to have all of the components for Goverlay. Okay, the next app I'll add probably doesn't need an introduction if you've done any gaming in the last 10 years. Steam. Selecting Steam will cascade select a bunch of other recommended packages that are dependencies. Proton Tricks, because why not? Though some may say this is just bloat. So that's about all I can think of, though there's the likes of Bottles and Lutris, which allows you to run non-Steam games. I might actually try and see if I can run audio production tools with Bottles. Those apps, Bottles and Lutris, not the audio tools, are also available from the game's tools repo. I've added all of these for install, now to install them. My internet is pretty slow because it's wireless and my house has old thick walls. I sped this download up by about 2400%. And that's about it for downloading the bulk of the tools I prefer from the Games Tool Repo. Check out the Games Tool Repo yourself and see what fits your needs. Up next, I'm going to configure Goverlay.